Hello everyone and welcome to the how-to series for the Fusion Avionics System on the King Air aircraft. Today we'll be going through and finding and loading the database software for your King Air Fusion Avionics suite. Here in Team Turboprop we have fielded quite a few calls over the past year or so in which our customers have needed assistance in locating and loading the correct software for their aircraft. So today we're going to go through the steps of sh and show you exactly how to do just that. Now keep in mind that this is an overview or an instructional video, if you will, of the King Air, which leads me to our disclaimer. The content of this presentation is for reference only and does not contain instructions for continued airworthiness. The approved procedures in their entirety are set out in the approved technical publications. Hello, my name is Nelson Washington, avionics engineer here at Textron Aviation for the Team Turboprops. As I previously stated, we have fielded numerous calls from our customers on this particular process. So what better way to assist you than to start with what I would like to call our how-to video series for the Fusion Avionics Suite. First off, we're going to start off with on how and where to locate the software that you will need to be loading onto your aircraft. After that, we'll show you the steps of how to access the system and get your software loaded on your aircraft. Now let's go over to our Textron support page to locate the software that you would need that would be applicable to your aircraft. Here you see our one view page or our Textron aviation support page that's going to get you to the software. Here we have uh, under my models, we have a listing of the King Air. So if you go down to King Air, you're going to click on that, which will take you to this page here. It's going to have our maintenance pilots notices, things of that nature, everything that you see here, my information, technology. But in the bottom right hand corner there, we're going to be looking for avionics. That's where you're going to find your information. In the avionics section, you'll see here at the top where it says Rockwell Collins. Proline Fusion Support or Rockwell Collins Proline Fusion Support uh, STC Support. Now there is a difference. Pro, uh, Proline Fusion Support are aircraft that was loaded with fusion out of our production facility. For the STC are all the other aircraft that had either Proline 21 or something else installed prior to us installing the Proline Fusion. So if you have the STC, this is where you would locate your aircraft. If you have the software straight out of factory, you'll go to the first one. Here, this is a shot of our, the Collins page. The Collins page is basically where you will sign in after you set up your account. You will go into your Collins database and software pages to get your actual software. You can see here on support, where I actually have highlighted your database and software updates and flight, uh, flight deck content, you'll actually click on the database and software updates and it'll actually get, to, get you to your nav databases, your charts and things of that nature. Now, unfortunately, I cannot show you those things because those are proprietary to Collins, so I cannot put those on our video. However, if you call and we can talk to you, we can walk you through that, or if you've done that before, you know exactly how to do it. Okay, here we are in front of a B-300 series aircraft, Fusion equipped, so that we can show you the step-by-step -step instructions of exactly how to load your databases into the system. Let's take a walk inside. Okay, here we are again inside of the 300 series aircraft with the avionics so that we can give you the step-by-step -step instructions. First of all, we're going to uh, select the data load enable switch to on, which is on your overhead panel. After turning that switch on, you will see the load uh, switch status on that comes on on the MFD. From there, we are going to push the enter data load button, which is in the upper right hand corner. Now we will select yes when we enter the data load message. And now here we will select the databases tab.
Once we've selected the databases tab, we will go ahead and insert the USB with the data to be loaded into the loading port of the center MFD. Once that is done, we will press the refresh button on the screen. Here, we will select the desired databases to be loaded. In this instance, we will be loading the NAV databases. So we will select the NAV database. And then we will press the start load button for that. You'll hear, you'll observe the database load progress. After the completion of the load and you see that the load is complete, you will push the exit data load button on the display. Select yes to exit the data load mode. And then again, we will turn off the data enable switch that is on the overhead panel. From here, we will wait for it to register to verify that all of our databases, i.e. the NAV database has been loaded successfully. As you see here, it has been loaded successfully. So now we are good to go and your NAV databases have been loaded. You load all of your databases this way, not just your NAV, but your charts and your airport runways and things of that as well. Alrighty, there you have it. Now we've showed you step-by-step step of exactly how to load those databases into your fusion equipped aircraft. And if you have any other questions or anything of that nature, let us know. We will be happy to answer any questions that you have, but that was just the basic step-by-step -step instructions of loading your NAV databases, your charts, maps, anything else that needs to be loaded into the system. Thank you guys for watching. We hope that you find this video very informative. If you have ideas of anything else that you would like to see, shoot us a quick email. As you can see, the email address is on the bottom, and then put on there how-to series and let us know exactly what it is you would like to see. Thank you so much again for attending, and you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.